Kevin Corks live on the North Lawn there from the White House. Hey, Kevin, good morning. Good morning, Bill. The question, according to White House officials, frankly, is one of rank hypocrisy. They say, how can it be? On the one hand, the Democrats simply say unfettered migration, often illegal immigration, is a net positive for the country, and yet at the same time ask the country to shoulder that burden. And then when the administration offers to send those migrants to their cities, they react angrily. But I can tell you this, Democrats say that's not what's happening here. They say this is political retribution. Let me share a letter uh, written by key Democrats on Capitol Hill to the White House yesterday, and I think you'll find it instructive. This is only a snippet of the letter, but it says the following, and uh, this I think uh, people will find interesting. It says, we are deeply troubled by multiple reports recently confirmed by the president that the Trump administration is considering releasing detained immigrants into congressional districts represented by Democrats in a bizarre and unlawful attempt to score political points. Now, there is a list of demands in that letter I just told you about. Among them, they're asking for emails between the White House, DHS, and ICE, internal DHS emails, emails between DHS and ICE, all DHS documents discussing transfer or release of detainees. Let me share what the mayor of the great city of New York had to say, Mayor de Blasio. He said, it is illegal. It's just plain illegal. We'll meet him in court, speaking of the president. We'll beat him in court. This is just patently illegal. We'll stop it. Okay, stop the plan perhaps, but nothing, unfortunately, for the crisis along the border appears to be stopping the many migrants from coming across the border, some of them illegally, some of them actually seeking asylum, which is, of course, legal. But they also know, Bill, that even if they're not really seeking asylum, once they're over the border, there's a good chance that they will be in the country for years before their cases are ultimately heard. And that, say White House officials, is frankly gaming the system. If Democrats, including the mayors uh, and members of Congress in these communities, want these individuals, they should be helping the president, frankly, look for solutions to bring them to their communities instead of fighting the president every step of the way. And the president, as you know, has often talked about this on Twitter. In fact, he tweeted that he has the legal right to move these migrants, those who can no longer be held, especially along the southern border bill. It's a real crisis for the communities there. He's saying they're going to move forward and move them around the country, setting up a, almost a guaranteed court fight. We'll be watching that. By the way, I can tell you this. We don't expect to see the president today on camera, but should that change, of course, I'll let you know. Back Good deal. Thank you, Kevin Cork from the White House. Thank you, Kevin.